Hi everyone, I'm Donald Page and I'm going to start with watercolors. Now, you don't have to use watercolors. I will uh, uh, tell you what you can use if you don't like watercolors. I know that some of you just <laughs> dread using them. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is just put some watercolors on this piece of plastic. It can be on any kind of non-porous uh, surface and instead of uh, watercolors you can use uh, sprays i'm going to use also sprays these are made from gel food coloring with water you can use if you like uh, gelatos just put some gelatos on that uh, surface put some water like so just activate it and squish it None, uh, just like this and that's what I'm going to do with my watercolors I'm just going to put some on this uh, plastic and just squish it like so uh, this is not watercolor paper it's just sketchbook paper but it's just uh, enough for what I'm trying to do I just want some stains of color I don't want anything a uh, solid and opaque on the page and I'm just starting with the lightest uh, yellow I've got most of the page is going to be yellow and with hints I think of some orange and maybe some green i'm not sure yet so as you can see i quite randomly squish the watercolors on my page i can also squish it and let it absorb into the paper like so really up to you it's quite just playing and having fun building up some color and puddles of paint on the background switching to a darker yellow you can probably do this with acrylic paint but then you will need to um, add more water and with acrylic paint they, it can be a um, more a uh, translucent but in at some stage with too much water the pigment is just it breaks and then you get really dull color so that's the only problem with acrylics if you're trying to achieve something that looks like watercolor then you need to uh, watch it so I think I'm going to try some of my sprays like so okay another color darker yellow I can also add water if I want it to be a more subtle I can also drip like so just play with it have fun So as you can see, this is not planned, all is random and you do it until you get something that you like. Otherwise there is really no rules to it. And I think that now I want some, just a little bit of orange. Let's see, I think I have a spray in orange, 
Yeah. Let's see. Maybe instead of spraying, I'll do this. Yeah. Just another way to get some color randomly in the background. Okay, I really like it, but now I want to do the same thing with the yellow. yeah okay so uh, I have the urge to continue this until everything is covered because I have trouble with a uh, living white space but I'm going to <laughs> stop here and try to leave it as is I'm going to let this dry before I continue. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I hope it's dry enough. I want to do some circles and I'm eyeballing the page and for this as a center and just going to do some circles like this. And let's see, I've got these circles that I've made a long time ago as templates from a uh, boring and icky a uh, scrapbook paper let's see uh, let's do the circle here I'm going to use a gold Posca pen to do the circle and last minute when I was a waiting for everything to dry i added some green splatter i don't know if you can see it but it's there so it seems like the posca pen is just absorbed by the page and you can hardly see uh, any um uh, that it's gold whatever it is what it is so let's see no I want something larger yeah again eyeballing it and I've got another a uh, gold acrylic a uh, marker this is uh, from the cheap store and I'm thinking that I'm not going to, to to do a complete circle I'm just going to do something like this let's see next in line So I'm not doing a complete circle. I'm just doing a, it like this. And I'm just going over like so. So I'm going to continue doing this, adding some uh, circles to my page. Maybe a larger one now. Yeah. And I'm going to come back. Finished with the circles, now I'm doing some uh, lines going from this, mostly the center uh, outside and this is again quite random. Wherever I think I need a line, that's where I'm uh, <laughs> putting it. Nothing uh, planned about it.
Okay, so now I want more uh, lines, but different kind. I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before and we'll see how it works. And let's see, I'm going to take some Distress Ink and let, we'll see if <laughs> something will come out of it. So uh, let's start with, this is a spiced uh, marmalade and what I'm going to try and do is put a little bit like this on my uh, ruler and let's see if it makes something eh not really let's see maybe this is a little bit uh, a more thick so maybe I'll get a better print maybe not not so much I'm spraying a little bit in the hopes that it will just uh, smudge a little bit so again just taking some ink on uh, the ruler and adding some lines right now I'm just using the orange maybe I will switch something else I'm not sure yet I just had some general idea <laughs> for what I want to do and I'm just going with the going with the flow right now okay so let's see maybe add let's try the red that's nice again quite random you can probably do it also if you need a smaller lines a with some plastic card since I'm not sure where it's going I'm using the ruler I'm also uh, from time to time sliding it a little bit to the side so as you can see I've got this marks yeah I think that's it yeah leaving it be so this whole thing was just because I made a new stencil of a phonix and I want it here and I need to take some paint for it that I haven't put in advance you'll have to excuse me Okay, so more of the same. I want some yellow, I want some darker orange, I think. Let's see what I've got. I've got this orange and I put something red or magenta, I'm not sure. Let's take red for now. Okay, so I'm gonna put some here. And let's take a makeup sponge okay so 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 yeah I think it's going to be here and let's start with the yellow I'm dabbing access I'm not sure how much of it will show because I've got the background with lots and lots of yellows but I'm hoping that 
it will still be nice and if not I can darken it I'm switching to the orange and we'll see what goes if it won't be enough I will just take some marker and go over the shapes to make them stand more on the page and now I'm darkening the yellow because as I said it's it can hardly be seen on the page let's see okay now it looks more like a flame maybe I will add yellow at the end when it's dry and it will look better I don't know we'll see so and uh, let's see where do I want to put red here in the body some orange I'm just letting them mix as I go This way they are blending into each other. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, I like it. <laughs> so I'm going to let this dry and I'm probably going to do some a, a contour a line a, for each of this shape and I have some missing piece here. Let's see. Yeah, good enough. And then uh, we'll see. I'm going to let this dry uh, first. I'll be back. Okay, so I picked a, a jelly roll a pen to gel ink, jelly roll, whatever uh, it's called. This is from the cheap store. Uh, I've taken black and I'm just doing the contours of each shape. If you don't feel comfortable of tracing the shapes, like so you can always take your stencil put it back and use the stencil as a guide so then you are doing the same lines without worrying of missing something so as you can see I'm just going around the shape you can pick any kind of a uh, fine marker that works for you. It doesn't need to be a gel ink pen. This was just handy. Okay. So I've got this and I just want to add a little bit more detail to the background and I remembered I had this stamp from a Stamperia and it kind of echoes what I've done here and I want to stamp it uh, randomly in the background but I don't want it to overwhelm my page. I still want my pho phonics to be uh, in the focal image so I'm going to try and stamp it with this fossilized amber distress ink in the hopes that it will add detail to the background without overwhelming the page. Let's see, I want to I want to stamp it here, but I have this the spiral and I'm going to try let's try doing it like so. Maybe if I will put my hand underneath <laughs> okay that's good enough so next where do I want another one I 
I really hope it won't take away from my focal image. I'm not even concerned about getting a great print because it needs to be in the back. And just one more, I think. Once again, I want to stamp it here. Good enough. Okay. I can live with it. I think I'm going to leave this be and not add anything else. I do want to keep my phonics front and center. So thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.